sometimes it's part of the sad state of a beekeeper's life that we go to a hive and find that the hive is gone. It's called absconding if it happens in the fall. And I'm going to show you, I'm pretty sure this hive has absconded, and I'm going to show you what it looks like when a hive absconds. You'll see there are not any bees on the front entry. You'll see there are no bees on the front entry except a few, and they are robber bees. So a while back, when I was starting to feed my bees, I got a little worried about this hive because I put a whole thing of feed on them and they didn't take any of the feed. And what happens with a hive that's absconding is they decide to abscond 21 days ahead of time and they start making their plans accordingly. So 21 days ahead of time, they stop letting the queen lay eggs and then they plan to abscond and their absconding date is the day Bees plan to abscond 21 days before they actually do. On the day that they stop the queen from laying, whatever brood she laid that day, they're going to abscond 21 days later when that brood has hatched into worker bees. Um, they don't allow the queen to lay during that time, and if she does lay, and she will because she has driven to lay, she will lay some eggs even though they don't want her to, they will during that period of time uh, right before they leave to abscond, they eat the larvae and eggs that are left to give them protein for the journey. I'm trying to burn up my microphone cord. Here we go. I don't even need the smoker because I don't think there are any bees in this hive, but because I haven't confirmed that they've absconded, <coughs> don't ever make a video and blow smoke straight into your face. This hive is strapped because we had a hurricane here Hurricane Helene was here last Thursday night, and <clears throat> I strapped all my hives to keep them from blowing over. I'm pretty sure these bees left the day after the hurricane. So we're gonna take the straps off and go into the hive and see what's there. As I have expected, there's a, um, there's a good bit of food still left. I think these are all robber bees. See how easily this hive wiggles around while I'm doing this? It's because it, when they leave to abscond, they take absolutely everything with them. There shouldn't be anything in this hive. This, this box had some honey in it, and maybe that's what these bees are robbing out. We'll see. Sure's a lot of bee activity. Now this box feels like it might have a little bit of honey in it which might be what those girls are going after. My second sign that the hive had absconded is that my brood minder is, shows below 90 degrees on the brood box since in the 80s, which is a bad sign. Yeah, these bees have absconded and who I've got here and why they're not bothering me is that they're robbers. So we're gonna take this brood minder out and I'll put it on another hive. So I want you to see how it looks when you go into an absconded hive. There really is just nothing there. We'll look at some, this is the brood box in this hive and you see there's just nothing. Nobody's there. These bees left and they left post hurricane. I don't know if they were upset by the hurricane or what, but they left post hurricane. They were planning to leave however, because I've not seen any pollen flying into this hive in a while and was pretty sure they either had a queen problem or were going to abscond. Actually, I was pretty sure they were going to abscond because they didn't take any of the food I left them. Most of the time in the south when bees abscond, it's because of the lack of nectar flow. It's because the, the, there's nothing for the bees to eat and they are desperate and they want to try to go somewhere where there might be food. And Jamie Ellis's research in South Africa a number of years ago, not many people have researched much on absconding, but his research showed that the bees fly 100 miles when they leave in search of a new home. So that's my hope is that these bees left and flew to North Georgia where there is some goldenrod and stuff like that. So you see here, these are a brood chamber that's completely, completely empty, no brood. Now we make it to the bottom and find that this hive died out, but I don't think it's likely because they didn't leave anything. I like this hive and I have a split from it 
at my daughter's house, so the genetics from the hive are still available to me, but certainly not in this hive. See, and this is the other way you know that they have absconded. They've t opened up all the honey cells and taken all the honey with them, and they're not dead bees down here. There are a few dead bees, but that, these are just normally in the course of life. They're not dead bees. I mean, the hive died. It didn't die. So we have an absconded hive here. And I just wanted you all to know a little bit about it. It's kind of a mess. This is a sad story of an absconded hive, but I just thought it might be useful to you all to know what happens when a hive absconds. I'm going to leave the robbers to it. So to go over what happened, this is a hive that probably decided about a month ago that it was going to abscond. On the day that the last bees that were laid by this queen 21 days ago, when the last bees hatched out, that's the day that they left. They would have, as they left, eaten any eggs that the queen happened to lay, any larva that was around that hadn't grown up into a full-grown bee. If there were bees in the under cappings, they would have cut off the cappings and pulled the larva out and thrown them on the ground. I did not see them doing that, and I have seen that before with absconding hives. Um, and then they take off and they fly. They can fly up to, according to Jamie Ellis, they can fly up to 100 miles to try to find a place where there's more food. There's absolutely nothing in Atlanta right now for them. Now I have been feeding them, but they weren't interested in the food that I gave them. I think I started feeding them too late. And when I fed the, started feeding them, they were, had already decided that they were going to leave. So the 21 day countdown was already going on. I know they were here the, the day before the hurricane because I checked all the bees and strapped all the bees. So I know they were here um, a week ago, but they left, out, they left, I think the day after the hurricane. That's the story of, sad story of this hive. Um, bees that abscond are almost always absconding because of, of uh, hunger, a dearth in the area. The other reason they abscond though, and in th this event, they don't have 21 days to plan. I had a friend, for example, a tree fell on his beehive. And when the tree fell on his beehive, it knocked the beehive over and the bees were very, very upset and they absconded. Um, I had bees in North Georgia at a farm there and we had a bad fire. It went through North Georgia all the way up through Gatlinburg and it went through Rabin County where my bees were. And my friends where the bees were sent me a picture from the window looking out over the beehives and up to the ridge where the fire was coming. You could see the red glow of the fire over the ridge. And the next day the bees absconded. They left all of their honey, which made absolutely delicious honey and I was delighted to have it. But this, these bees didn't leave anything. And they weren't starving because they did still have some honey, but they, they knew that they didn't have enough to make it through the winter and I didn't start feeding them early enough. So that would be the story on this beehive. I'm very sad to have lost it, but I thought I might use it as a, maybe an educational moment for you. So thanks for watching. Be sure and subscribe below and, uh, and let me know any feedback or comments that you have. Thanks for watching.